In this video, I'm gonna build and launch a software with AI with zero coding background at all. Not only will you watch me build this software with AI, but you'll see how easy it is to launch on your own custom domain in under two minutes. This platform I'm gonna show you in this video is a perfect all-in-one platform to build and host web apps with AI. Also, if you're new to the channel, I show non-techies how to build cool things with AI. So if that sounds right for you, make sure to stay to the end of this video. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, if you click the link in the description, it will take you to this landing page for hosting your horizons. You can see we could begin building our web app here but if you want to scroll down you could either start for free or you could sign up to an account here are the pricing structures here we have the explorer plan the starter plan hobbyist the hustler i'm on the hustler plan but you could choose whichever one works best for you and we would get a hundred messages here if we were to start with the starter plan all right so i'm going to show you real quick how you guys could sign up so i'm going to select a plan here i'm going to start with this one here and from here what i will do is i could actually add a coupon code if you guys would like to sign up i have a code brock 10 this gets you 10% off of whatever plan you decide to choose. So hopefully that saves you guys some money. Basically, you just click continue, add in any of your billing information, obviously add your payment information. You can see that our coupon saved us some money here. So hopefully that helps. Once you guys go through that, you will then be sent to the hosting or horizons user interface where we could begin building our application. All right, guys. So this is the user interface of hosting or horizons. You can see there is this text box here. Basically, it says, what do you want to create? Type your idea and let AI take from here all i need to do is i'm going to come here and just speak in here and i basically want to paste my ideas here for what we want to build and then we'll go from there let's build a web app that allows content creators to generate short form scripts based on a general idea so think about it like this a creator will paste in an idea for a video and then we will have a script generated with ai that's very engaging for short form videos like youtube shorts instagram tiktok etc let's add the ability to generate multiple types of scripts so for each video we get three script outputs and the user can choose which one they like the best to and refine. Okay, there we go. We're going to run with that. Also, what I just use there is called Aqua Voice. I literally just hit this command button on my keyboard, speak into my computer, and it automatically takes my voice and pastes that into text. So it makes it really easy, specifically when building these web apps. But in general, when using my computer, it's one of my favorite new AI tools. So I hope that helps as a little hack here. Using this to help with writing emails, responding to comments, all that stuff, it's extremely helpful. So wanted to throw that out there. Hope you get some value from that. Okay, so here we go. We have this very basic little interface here so we have a short form script generator let's go ahead and just paste in an idea here the brand new gpt 4.1 release so let's click generate scripts it's probably not going to generate an actual script there's no ai connected to this we need to add an ai api so interesting that looks good however let's change the background of this let's say we wanted to make it like a blue gradient can we change the background to make it more of a darker blue gradient instead of purple and pink so first things first on the left hand side we obviously have the interface where we could go back and forth with hosting our horizons. This is where we paste in our prompts, as well as we have the right-hand side where it shows our interactive web application that we're building. Just like a lot of other of these AI coding platforms, such as Bolt and Lovable, looks pretty similar. We could switch to full screen here to view our app. We could also switch to mobile view as well, as well as we have a super base integration here that I'm actually gonna set up in here in order for us to add user authentication, along with actually saving this stuff to our actual user profiles. Okay, here we go. So. This looks good so far. I'm gonna make some changes to this, but let's add a little different functionality here. This looks good. However, I wanna add the option for each creator to basically paste in some content ideas from other creators in order to replicate a similar style. I then want the user to be able to store this to their profile. So that way for any short script that we generate, it's following that similar style. Okay, let's go with this. I'll be interested to see how it handles this. We're probably gonna have to set up some user authentication in order for us to log in, like let users log in, sign up for an app, as well as storing this information inside of Supabase. So let's give it a second and then let's see what the process is gonna be for this. So far, interacting with this, it's very easy to use. It's very seamless. It doesn't seem to be bugs like other platforms like Firebase Studio, if you've seen my previous video. This is a much better alternative to something like Firebase Studio. It just is very easy to use. It's seamless, it looks great, and it's actually pretty quick too at giving you outputs. Okay, so now we have a creator style reference. So paste 
example content from a creator whose style you want to replicate. Okay, this looks good. However, we need to make this actually functional because this isn't gonna actually store this information. The user interface looks good. However, let's now actually store this information along with adding user profiles so users can sign up for our app. Along with that, let's actually create a landing page as well that looks very modern and sleek that conveys our messaging and our ideal customer profile. Okay, so we're gonna move forward with this. This isn't super structured the way that I'm structuring this. However, this is vibe coding for you. I'm kind of just like going with the flow. I, I didn't have predefined prompts that I was gonna give this, kind of just like making iterations as we go. So hopefully this gives us an output that we're looking for. Okay, so here we go. We have this landing page, which we could refine. We can make it look a bit better if we would like, but this is a good initial output. Transform your ideas into engaging scripts for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, using AI powered content generation, multiple variations, style matching, AI powered, shows trusted by content creators worldwide. So let's go ahead and if I look at this message here, it's basically saying, I've created a modern web app. Would you like me to help set up Superbase integration? Let's just say, or actually it looks like it gave us a step. So click the Superbase icon on the top right of your screen. So I'm gonna click this, add organization. I'm gonna create a new organization here. Okay, there we go. We have a new Superbase integration set up. So let's log into our Superbase account, authorize hosting our horizons. So it looks like we need to create a new project. So I'm inside of my account here. Let's just call this horizons. I'm going to give it a password. Okay. So we have this new project basically up and running almost. We need to wait for this to actually turn green. I'm going to give it a second and then let's come back to this. And if I refresh here, it actually looks like I could connect my horizons project. So let me just connect this. It'll be interesting to see how seamless this integration is. All right. So it, all right. So it said it has set up our super base integration with the following features, created necessary database tables for users, creators, and generated scripts, added super base client configuration, set up real time subscription. Okay. Let me come into hosting and let's see, or let me come into Superbase and see if we have these tables set up. Okay, so we do have tables set up. We have creator styles, we had generated scripts, and we have users. This is where we're gonna store this information to use as a database inside of our application. So far, that integration right here is very seamless. That was super easy to do compared to some of these other platforms. I'm not going to lie. So it's asking, would you like me to add user authentication components? Let's go ahead and add user authentication with sign up and sign in forms. In order to access our app, you have to sign up on the landing page and be a user. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because in order for us to actually access our app in order to generate scripts, they're going to have to sign up as a user. What that's gonna do, we're gonna allow any, a user to sign up with email or our Google account. We're then going to store this as a user inside of Supabase. And then from there, they're gonna have access to use our script generator, which then would store that information into this database here to keep that on user profile. So if they sign out, if they refresh the page, all that information is still there. Also, one thing to mention, if you are new to building with AI web builders like this, if we were to set this up inside of Supabase, this would be a absolute pain. But since it integrates directly with Supabase, it's able to set all this up just by going back and forth with natural language here, which is very, very, it's awesome. All right, let's test this out. So let's click the get started, sign up with an email, create account. Let's see if we have an account in here. Okay, so that does not seem to be working. Oh, you know what it is? I actually just got this email right here. It's basically saying it's, it's sending me a confirmation email, which we don't want to happen. So I need to come into Superbase. Let me turn that off. All right. So I turned that off. Let me just say I turned off email confirmation. Let's try it again. One thing I will say, we have not run into a single error yet using hosting or horizon. So this is a good sign. However, we do need to make some changes to our app. We still need to add AI. So it actually creates AI generated scripts, all that stuff. We need to do some refining with UI as well, but it's looking pretty good with no errors that we've run into so far. But of course, I don't want to speak too soon, obviously. Obviously. Okay, let's click on this. Let's get started. Create account. There we go. So if this is working properly, this will now have a user in here. For whatever reason, we do not have one. So let's come back to Hostinger and just basically say that worked. I was able to sign up. However, it's not reflecting this inside of our Superbase database. So let's go from there. Something tells me this should be an easy fix, but I guess we'll have to see. All right, so it's now working. I'm able to actually sign in. I just signed in here. And then what it did, it actually stored this user information. However, it's not storing the email. Let me just go ahead and mention that here. I want you to go ahead and actually store the user's email when they sign up and save that in the user's table in Supabase. All right, let me try this one more time. Let's open up in a new tab. Okay, so click on get started, add my email. Let's add a password here. Click create account. Okay, so I now have access to this. Let's now come back and let's check inside of here. And there we go. It now saves our email. That was an easy fix. So this is now working properly where users are, we made it so that way users can actually create a user profile. So that's perfect. Let's now come back 
to Hostinger and let's add some new functionality here. Let's basically actually build out this right here. Great. Now let's add some functionality to our app. When a user clicks the generate script button, I want you to actually use AI to generate a real script. Let's use the OpenAI API in order to do this. Okay, so basically what I just prompted here is I basically told it that when a new user clicks generate script, it is actually gonna generate a script using AI. So what it needs to do is it needs to get the API for whatever LLM provider we're gonna use. So essentially that means it gives us access to use ChatGPT with inside of our application. So let's go ahead and let's see basically how we can import this. All right, so we're running into our first error here. I just, I'm gonna click ask to fix, pasting in the code here so it could probably identify what the error is. Okay, so it has something to do with the OpenAI API key. Let's go ahead, let's let this run. Something tells me this will be able to figure it itself out. Okay, I copied my API key from OpenAI. Let me just ask where I need to put this. Can you allow me to just import my API key here? Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm excited to see how easy this is to actually publish and deploy our application because Hostinger is obviously a hosting platform. So they built this on top of their hosting platform. So it'll make it very easy for us just to deploy our applications because a lot of you guys in the past have asked, okay, you can make cool apps with these platforms but how do we actually host them and launch them if we're trying to sell this as a SaaS or something? So we'll be testing that here in a little bit. All right, so here's the user interface now. We basically have this OpenAI API key set up here. So we just paste our API key here. It's gonna save our API key to our user profile. And then let me come to our Superbase, make sure this information is being stored here. Great, so it shows our API key is now being stored. So what we could do, we could then paste in creator styles. So let me go ahead and paste in a couple videos. So I was able to paste in a video of mine actually to use it as like an example because we want to replicate that style. But what we need to do, let's go ahead and make it so that way it actually transcribes this video. So then we could then, you know, obviously use that same wording and style. Great, the API is now working. However, when we add to the creator styles section and save it, let's actually go ahead and transcribe that video in order for us to use that as an example of how we want to structure our script. This is something I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be able to do. I haven't thought through the logistics of exactly how this is going to work, but bear with me guys. This is a video video where I'm just kind of testing this platform as we go. Again, I didn't like try this out before I tried building this for this video. So just bear with me. Let's see what we could do here. All right, let's go ahead and test this out and see if it's actually able to generate a script for us now. So let's just say, let's create a script on the new GPT 4.1 that just released. All right, so click on generate script. Okay, interesting. So it gives us a breakdown of the voiceover. New tech alert, GPT 4.1 just dropped and we're diving into the script creation magic today. Say goodbye to writer's block and hello endless. Okay, interesting. So we didn't give it much context on exactly how we want this, like what we want the script to be about. Create a script on the new GPT 4.1 release. And let's talk about how it's a potential game changer for developers. All right, so let's click on generate script. Okay, so it actually generates two different scripts for us. We could choose which ones we like. That's cool. Let's now add the ability for us to actually save this to our profile. This looks great. Let's now add the ability for us to save specific scripts to our profile. I do have another idea that I wanna implement. I wanna implement the ability for us to give like a system prompt to store in our user profile in order for us to like um, define exactly how we want the script to look, the different language we want to use, etc. So let me see if I could actually build that in because otherwise I don't want the like output to look like this all the time. I need the users to actually have some form of instructions that it gives it. So every single time they generate a new script, it understands the style that they're trying to create. Okay, I'm not seeing a save button. Let's come back and just make some changes here. Let's add a save button and let's not save any of the generated script that the user does not actually want to save explicitly. Also, let's add another aspect to the user interface that shows all of our saved scripts on a user profile. Okay, so we're gonna make some changes here to the user interface. I wanna be able to like save this and then maybe store it over here or in some form of like, I, I basically wanna change the user interface of this so it doesn't look exactly like this with a creator style, generate script, and they just have this here. We wanna like add some things over here because it's pretty blank. Maybe I, I should go ahead and take a screenshot, feed this to hosting our horizons. But let me see what the output is first and then I'll go from there. All right, so you can see here, we could actually save or bookmark a script. We could view our saved scripts. Okay, so that looks good. Let's, we can go back to the generator. That's working properly. Let's just go, let's go ahead, let's screenshot this and let's just say, let's make this look slightly better. Like, because we're only utilizing so much of this space here. Take a look at the screenshot that I just provided. Our web app is pretty basic and we only have a little bit, the space of our user interface filled up. That's actually functional. So let's 
make the layout of this look a bit better, add different cards and whatnot to store saved generated ideas, as well as come up with some creative ideas to make this look better. Okay, so that's a bit like crazy prompt there. I'm not giving it much instruction, which I probably should be more instructive with that, but I'm curious to see what it will give us because honestly, I don't really have any ideas for how we can make this look better. I just want to give it to Hosting Your Horizons. Let's see what it could do. Curious if it's going to be creative enough to like, I don't know, maybe put this over here, put the API key over here and then add the saved scripts over here or something just to make it look a bit better. And again, this all comes down to prompting guys. So the functionality of our app is there. It's just how do we make this look better? And we're going to try to tackle that now before I actually go ahead and show you guys how to host this. Okay, nice. This looks a bit better. So we have total scripts, saved scripts, last generated. We have our creator styles here. We could generate a script. So let's just say again, GPT 4.1, generate a script. Here's our generated scripts. We could save a script. Once we save it, it then stores right here, back to generator. Okay, great. Let me send a screenshot. And then I'm basically just gonna say, I love the functionality of this. However, let's show the saved scripts on the right-hand side of the screen and then move all of these cards that you could see in the screenshot off to the left-hand side. So that way it fills up the entire screen. Okay, guys, there's so many refining things we could do to this. We could just make this look much better. We could add different functionality. I think I might leave it at this once I get this sorted that I'm trying to do. Basically, I'm gonna have all of this on the left-hand side and then I want the saved scripts to be over here. So it kind of fills up our whole user interface. But from here... Once this is good to go, we have a functioning app. I actually wanna go ahead and deploy this and host this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you guys could do that. So not only can you build web applications, but you could then host it for other people to use, of course. I am running into a small little error here. However, every single time I've had an error inside of this build process, I've just clicked fix error and it fixes it the first go around every time so far. All right, here we go. So here's our updated user interface. I think this looks pretty solid. We could click generate, shows generated scripts. We could then save a script and then we could view you all the saved scripts. Okay, so guys, we have a fully functioning application here. We can make as many changes to this as we'd like. However, let's go ahead and now host this. All right, so one last thing that I actually added, I added the ability for me to paste in specific style. So let's just call this like tech review style, paste in this, this example script here, which is something that like I'd like to recreate in order to keep consistency over all the scripts that are generated. I could click on save script. So this is now saved here. What I could then do is I can now generate a script, let's say GPT 4.1. One, and I could generate it with this tech review script here that I just saved. I could generate it with this tech review script style here and then click on generate and now it will generate a script similar to this one right here. And there we go. So next up, what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and actually launch this and publish this. I've never done this before on this platform. Let me just try this out now to see how seamless this is. So let's just click publish. Boom, looks like it was already published. I could click on this, view site. We now have our landing page. We need to now sign up to an account or or we could sign into a pre-existing account. That looks good. And we can now click on this to get a domain natively inside of hosting our horizons. So let's just say creatormind123.com. We could click on next, next step. Okay, so I just purchased a domain directly on hosting our horizons. And now it's automatically just gonna deploy this to our site. So now instead of it being this weird URL here, it's actually gonna be our specific URL domain that we actually bought on hosting our horizons. Boom, and there we go. I clicked publish again. And now we have this new URL here. And here we have it, guys. We have this new domain URL here called creatormind123.com. We could change this to whatever we want. We bought it on Hosting Our Horizons. We can now sign up with an account here. Let me just check this out, see if this is working still. Nice. And now we have our script generator here. Again, guys, we built this super quickly. This is nothing crazy, but this is a cool app that I could use internally that I actually will use internally to help me write scripts. I have my own domain here. This is hosted all on Hosting Our Horizons. So if you guys got some value from this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies, showing how to build web apps with no code at all. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.